Welcome. The purpose of this video is to help you understand the Kinston Bypass Project and the alternatives that are being evaluated. Twelve alternatives for US-70 will be evaluated, along with an alternative to improve the existing route. Your input on the alternatives will be an important part of the decision-making process. There is also an alternative called the no-build alternative, which is exactly what it sounds like. No build, no construction. This is analyzed to provide a baseline comparison with the build alternatives. However, as I just mentioned, the no-build alternative would not solve any of our existing or future problems. Let's take a look at a map of the study area. The study alternatives are shown in green and orange. Now, let's take a quick look at each of the alternatives. Each alternative would provide two new travel lanes in each direction between LaGrange and Dover, south of the existing alignment of US-70. Include a median that is 46 feet wide or wider. Increase speed limits to 70 miles per hour, reducing delay and improving regional and local travel times. Eliminate traffic lights for east-west travel. And allow US-70 to operate as it does now, with more emphasis on local travel. The impacts um, for the alternatives that the department takes into consideration are right-of-way impacts to businesses and homeowners, environmental impacts such as to wetlands and streams and to the Neuse River, and other resources such as historic and archaeological resources. I think a lot of key impacts you're going to see with the different alternatives. Um, you're going to have some of like the, the existing route if you upgrade existing 70, a lot of impacts to the existing businesses along that corridor. If you look at some of the, the further routes south, you look at a, you're going through a lot of farmland, a lot of open land. There's some environmental issues that we're concerned about, the encroachment on the community college, that, that's, that's part of the issue there. You start looking at each individual alternative, look at the pros, look at the cons, see what issues might be in store for each one, and then you narrow it down from that point. We're about a mile south of Highway 70 on Highway 58, just a little south of Collier Lofton Road. This is where the shallow bypass alternative would pass through, right through here. We're about four miles east of Kinston along Highway 70 within the Weiss Fork Battlefield site. Seven of the 12 of our alternatives pass through the battlefield site. We're about six miles east of Dover at the intersection of 70 and Weiss Fork Road. For seven of the alternatives, there would be an interchange in this vicinity. Further east near Dover, for five of the alternatives, there would be an interchange there. We're about three and a half miles south of Highway 70, where Highway 11 and 55 split. Six alternatives would pass through here, and there would be an interchange at this location. We're about three miles south of 70 on Highway 58, in the Southwood area, between Southwood Elementary School and the Volunteer Fire Department, between Elijah Sykes Road and Elijah Lofton Road, where eight of the 12 alternatives would pass through this area, and also in this area will have an interchange with State Highway 58 that will impact active farmland and other development in the area. We're a little more than four miles south of Highway 70 on Highway 58, where alternatives 35 and 36 would pass through the area behind me. An interchange would be located on this side, where it would be relatively close to an assisted living center. You look at the community, you look at the, the current businesses, you look at the residential side of it, how does it affect those people, but you also look at the environmental impacts that it may have. Alternatives were developed using GIS information, which allowed us to select corridors which would have minimal impacts to resources, including environmental resources such as wetlands and streams, also along with historic and archaeological resources. Trying to balance those things with the environment minimizing the damage to retail that we can do initially and looking at it long term and improving our, our access to the ports are all part of this. All of the alternatives have different issues. The best place to get more information and provide your input is at the public meetings and on the project website. Submit your comments using the project website, write a letter, or call the study hotline. 
Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you.